The Manila is now open to the public. We are always free. We feel really excited that we can present two major exhibitions along with reopening the museum this season. And both of these exhibitions are only on view uh, in Houston at the Manila. I'm Michelle White, Senior Curator. So this exhibition is uh, the work of the artist Virginia Jaramillo, and it consists of about eight paintings by the artists that were made between 1969 and 1974. And as you'll see, they're really spectacular. Uh, bright colors, bold fields of color, and a really wonderful use of line. One of the most astounding pieces is called Green Dawn. And it's one of her most simplistic compositions. And it consists of a field of green uh, punctuated by this sort of sliver of uh, a yellow line. Another really wonderful uh, work that I love is, is a green composition called, uh, that's an untitled work from 1971. Uh, and it's distinguished by three lines that slice through the work. The artist Frank Bowling once described her use of line as lightning whips, and you can really see how she animates uh, the works through this really innovative use of curvilinear forms. There is a Houston connection. So uh, Virginia was a part of an important exhibition that happened here in Houston in 1971 called The Deluxe Show. And it was an exhibition uh, organized by the Demonil Foundation that brought together, for one of the very first exhibitions in the country, a multiracial group of artists. And Virginia was among those artists. In 2021, we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of this show. And we thought no better way to celebrate than to give Virginia Jaramillo her very first museum exhibition. This is Virginia's very first solo exhibition at a museum. Uh, and we're thrilled uh, to host uh, this important exhibition for the artist. The other exhibition we're opening is called Alora and Calzadilla, Specters of Noon. And this is an exhibition of seven new works that have been uh, made by the artist for this exhibition. The artist, Alora and Calzadilla, um, are a Puerto Rico-based duo that work together to create uh, works of art that really sort of challenge you know, contemporary questions about how we see the world around us. So there's seven works. Um, and they're conceived together. Uh, for the artists, they really want these works to come together to create something of a disorientating atmosphere. So the things you'll see are surprising, they're awe-inducing, they're beautiful, and they're strange. And we're excited for audiences to be able to respond uh, to the world that Alora and Calzadilla are presenting to us. The artists are renowned for their use of uh, materials and uh, untraditional materials that you find in art history. So, for example, you'll come across a cast of giant ship engines created with guano. So both bird guano and uh, bat guano are used to create a sculpture. And other pieces, you'll see how they're using light itself to create a work or electricity. Um, we have uh, really kind of brilliant use of bronze in this uh, show, as well as compressed coal and the use of uh, sound itself. So the entire show is, has a soundscape that was developed by the renowned composer David Lang. The musical composition that you'll hear throughout the show, it's constantly changing. Every time you come will be different. Um, and throughout, you'll see a sort of combination of uh, sounds related to the crackle of a volatile electrical gr grid, the sound of a human voice emulating bird calls, and even in one sort of moment in the soundscape, you'll hear the sound of insects that are made with a violin. They did a lot of research on the Houston Ship Channel, and we're really interested in the connections between their home in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and 
Houston, you know, we share, a, you know, we share the Gulf of Mexico, and we share some of the, the more urgent concerns, not only affecting our region, but sort of also sort of more widely within the Gulf Coast and Caribbean region. So that's everything from uh, a changing climate to energy commerce. Well, certainly uh, the artists are Latinx, um, and we're, we're thrilled to feature them. Um, this season at the Manila. We feel really excited that we can present two major exhibitions along with reopening the museum this season. And both of these exhibitions are only on view uh, in Houston at the Manila. All of the works in the exhibitions, in both exhibitions, are beautiful, surprising, and challenging. So I hope our audience leaves the museum feeling like they've come away with thinking about the world differently.